it's Bimonte. Welcome back. I've been missing for a while. Life happens. I've done, I think, two videos, but because of life, they were not upbeat and preppy. They were kind of depressing because that's how I was feeling at the time. And then there was a change of placement from admin to help a student out dealing with that and that one seems to have made my class very discombobulated and so I'm trying to figure out how my class is now. We are starting wonders. So we are in week one, unit one. We will be working with short A. For our math, we are in Zern. We are in lesson um six. So today we did lesson six on the board, I used my counters and I did an example for eight. I think I did lesson six and seven. So I did eight together and we show different ways to make eight. We used this. So they bring their whiteboard that they have and then they went and they wrote down all the different number bonds that we can make using eight. And then we also did the flip flop and we wrote them all down with eight showing them from on the whiteboard. And then I gave them the counters, they had to come up with the number bonds with the whole being nine. Looking at my slides because I live by my slides. Um, we did that, we did a group for ELD. I practiced um, phonemic awareness. I asked my school for Hegarty, I'm gonna ask them again. I asked all last year, they kept telling me yes. I never got it. I was told beginning of this year, I'm gonna ask again to see if I can get it because my plan is to work with phonemic awareness with my ELs. So that way they have that exposure every day. Wonders has an e out, has a um, phonemic awareness lesson, but I do that whole group. And they do have a section in the back. Um, that's, that's what I did today. Section in the back that goes over, like today was rhyming. And so we just sat there. We did some flashcards for some high frequency words and we worked on rhyming. And so that's what I deal with my um, e out group. We did math. Things are taking a lot longer because I need to corral my class a little bit more. So I need to have them come back to the carpet and we need to talk about how we're supposed to be. I mac it out, I tell them. And so a lot of it is just back and forth trying to get their behavior under control. So for unit one, it is what do we do at school? I think that's what like the question is. Um, so we have a little spot where we're gonna talk about what we do at school and then we're gonna go into our phonemic awareness and then we're gonna go into our, I have read out loud. It's the golden acorn. I haven't done that. Um, I have all the things for it, but I didn't do it last year. So we're going to do the golden acorn. So today, all we do is listen to it. And then tomorrow, I think today we're just gonna talk about characters and setting, like what are they? And then tomorrow we'll start with retell the story and then do story map. And so that's going to be tomorrow. Our phonics is going to be short A. So A. Ah, so today we are going to um, blend. And then we're going to write. I'm going to project this on the board. I use this for centers. And so I'm going to use it today. I'm going to project it on the board. We're going to, I'm going to call friends and they're going to write the word, sounding it out on the board. And then we are going to use this on Wednesday, Thursday. I think Thursdays are next groups. And so we're gonna use this on Thursday. So that way they have um, practice at doing it before I give it to them. So we're going to do this today for phonics. And then I have my high frequency words. And then we're gonna get into our other group. And then we're gonna get into our reading. Our reading this week is Jack Can. So it's very simple. Um, we're gonna go over phonics inside the story. And then we are going to read the story without pictures, have the kids practice reading it without pictures, and then we'll listen to it from the book audio from um, the Wonders website. And that's all we're going to do today for our reading. It's our first time opening the book. So when they grab the books, I'll give them a couple of minutes so they can look through the books and see all the stories in the unit one. And then we'll start our reading. And then we're working on sentence writing. I have, it looks like one more day where they're gonna tell me the sentences and then I will write it down. And then tomorrow they will start writing their own sentences for the pictures. Um, I'll give them two pictures and they have to write a sentence for it. Social studies is our last thing on the agenda. This is our new series. It seems kind of 
I'm gonna use the word boring. Um, everything's on slides, so I just connected my slides to it. The first lesson was they were looking at pictures of two goats trying to pass and the bridge is small and how are they gonna get across? And so it's talking about working together. Um, and then the second one was going off of working together. They had to draw a picture together without talking. So it was a lot of fighting um, with the pencil, trying to get you know how they wanted it to go. And so we talked about communication, talking to each other. And so then I told them, okay, line, line down, line across, line up. And so it was a lot easier. So talking, communicating makes things easier to do, to work together. And then it was a text. And the text that they had was like full paragraphs that the kids were supposed to read. I don't know. I projected it. I read it. The kids listened. We talked about it. And that was our lesson. And like that didn't fit with what the level they're at right now. It didn't fit. Like it said, students would read. They can't read it. Um, so we did that. And then I took some time off and we were, since we're doing how we get along at school, I read our class as a family. And then I had this, but I didn't do it. I have to look at who, let me see if it says it here. Love Grows Learning had a um, freebie. So I printed the hands and then they wrote their name in the middle of the hand. They colored it and then we wrote our promise. We had our rules from the beginning of the year that what we thought our rules should be. So we had them there and I just grouped them into be safe, um, let others learn, be kind, and to be my best. And so I grouped it all into those four. So those are our rules and their hands are there saying that they know what the rules are and they're going to follow them. So we did that. And so that stopped our social studies. That was a lesson for social studies. And then another one where they were supposed to look at pictures, going back to working together, to look at a picture and circle where they're working together. I just did it on the board. It was just easier that way. And then today, I think it's gonna go over good sportsmanship. And that's the last lesson in the chapter. So we've done everything. Um, there's not much that they produced. It was a lot of talking, a lot of sharing, but I did it. I'm gonna to switch to science. Our first lesson in science is plants. So we're going to do plants. And I have my slides, which are just pulled off of um, Twig Science. And so I'm just gonna follow that like I did last year. And to be honest, that's all I did last year was the plants one. And then I did my, so I'm gonna follow those. I'm gonna see what I can add to make it, to spice it up a little bit. I am gonna start homework. It's looking at me right here. I usually don't do homework. I don't believe in homework. Homework's supposed to be 10 minutes in first grade. So I have honestly 10 minutes of reading. There's your 10 minutes of homework in first grade. But what I do is here's your high frequency words for the week. Since we're going over short A, all these are high frequency words from Dolch and from Fry's that have a short A in it. Here's writing. So I expect them to write four sentences on the one topic. That's it, a sentence a day. Here are some words that have the short A in it. This came from, I have to look at it, a pack. And this had a poem that goes with short, short A that they can read also. And then if they need extra work, they have Lexi and ST math that they can do. Here's some math that they can do one side a day. And that's it. If homework's supposed to be 10 minutes, honestly, reading, that's their 10 minutes. But if parents want them to do more, they could practice their high frequency words. They can write a sentence. They can read with them right there. And some math. There's my homework. And to be honest, I will collect it, I will mark it, and I will throw it in the trash. That's what I'm going to do with homework. We are at the end of the day. I am packing up to go. This is what I carry around. It's just a little bag and in it I keep my keys and my phone and some markers and some band-aids and so that way it's just in here and my bell's on the side. Where's my bell? Here's my bell. My bell's on the side that way I can put. It's just easier to carry those things around with me when I'm walking around the room. An eraser's in there, some extra pencils. So that's what I carry. And one of the other teachers has an apron that she uses. So that's what I do. Um, for boring 
social studies, it was going over sportsmanship. So how do you play fair? What's good sportsmanship? And we're supposed to read a section, section five and six inside our book. I did it, I projected it, I read it. Before we did that, I went over the rules that we did. And then I read Officer Buckle and Gloria because it goes over rules. And so I read that and we talked about our rules that we made, that we put our hands on. And then I went over the lesson. So the lesson in here was to go through it. We discussed um, good sportsmanship, we discussed fair playing, and we are done. So I'm gonna see what the culminating activity is um, for tomorrow. If it's no biggie, we're just gonna go ahead and switch to science. Science gonna go over living things, non-living things. We usually go on a nature walk and they usually try to find living things and non-living things outside. And then the rest of the time it goes over um, plants. And so that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna check out the culminating activity. We did do our friend. So I've showed this before. We write down about our and then they use this paper and we fill it out. So it's a quick writing um, to get writing practice in. And then if they finish, they do a picture on the back. And if they finish that, they read a book for a little bit. Tomorrow, I'm going to use, this is what I use, um, Humble Beginnings. I've used it all last year. So there's a little writing portion that goes with it. It's on a piece of paper. I'm not gonna write, give them, copy the piece of paper. We're just gonna do it inside a journal that I gave them. It's been in there, they're just gonna break it out. And then we'll start writing in the journal, um, the two sentences, the three sentences that has us write. I think I'll use this special paper. I'll use my paper for when we do um, stories, narratives, because that's what we're going to work on. So that's gonna be for tomorrow. So I need to find the um, paper that goes with that just so I know what we're writing about. We're gonna be on day two of Wonders and we are going to be in lesson eight or nine in math in CERN. I need to print the rest of the module because I only printed to lesson eight, I think. And so I'm gonna print the rest of the module and it's just going over ways to make. Tomorrow is gonna to be ways to make 10. And I know I have a rainbow that goes with ways to make 10. So I'm gonna find that, I'm gonna copy that and then we'll make 10 tomorrow because today we worked on making eight and nine. So the big gist of this lesson, this topic, this section of Zern was different ways to make different numbers. So making composing numbers. So. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go home. Soccer practice is at 4.30, so I have an hour to get home, change, and get ready to go to that. It's tough. And I think I'm done. So I'm gonna go. I think I'll just make this a Monday. We really didn't do any copies besides this really old copy that I had from I don't know where. Everything else was whiteboard and then whiteboard. That's all I did today was whiteboard. Um, I take that back. We did do groups and I don't think I showed groups. And if I did, it, this will be edited out or not put in, excuse me, sorry. So for groups, they did a walk the room. There are pictures pasted. There's some right there. And they were putting them in words family. So the pictures, egg and app at. So if it ended in one of those words families, they wrote it under and then on the back they copied sentences and they had to write one word by themselves so cat hat so they just traced and then wrote down to complete the sentence um the words the pictures i didn't think they'd get like tap and gap um i wrote it down so they know what the word was wag i think also and so they had to put it where it belongs so this was word work and so they had to walk around the room writing they had to write about themselves I don't know what to write. I usually, in the beginning, I give them like fill in the blank. And so they go and they have to copy. I tell them what it says before. So my name is, I am blank years old. I like, I have, my friends are. So that way they can't say they don't know what to write. Copy it, copy it and fill in the blanks. So that's what we did for groups. And I guess that's like the only real paper that they did. Everything else was whiteboard and reading. 
Um, and then the writing that they did was on the Promethean or on the board. And so there wasn't paper for that. Tomorrow they'll get paper and they'll have to write the words of the pictures that I have on the slides for tomorrow. But that's my work. So back to me saying goodbye. Telling you, thanks for watching my channel. We'll press the thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.